Well, a couple of important prophetic news uh, articles came up that I think that we all need to be aware of. Of course, one being a monumental uh, overturn, which is the Roe versus Wade debacle that took place back in the 70s. Finally, we got enough conservative uh, justices in the Supreme Court to right a wrong that has been going on for some 50 years. And you can bet there's going to be some unrest and some vandalism and some deaths that are going to be that are going to take place uh, in the United States. But that's simply just the war that we had to rage in order to get to where we are. And as I've said, the battle is not over with yet, but uh, let's move on to prophecy. Here is something that you need to keep your eyes on. Now, like I said, I don't follow conspiracy theories because I don't think they have anything to do with Bible prophecy. You know, I was watching a writer that uh, I had followed for many years. I considered him a conservative and a very Bible-believing uh, prophecy speaker, but Every once in a while, he'll try to do a money grab with a book. And when I mean a money grab, he'll pick a topic such as Agenda 2030 or the Great Reset, and he will try to build a uh, link to that in Bible prophecy. So, frankly, like I said, I try to stay away from things like that because I don't think there's really much chance that either um, Agenda 2030 or uh, the Great Reset will have anything to do with Bible prophecy. Now, as I've said, he'll probably he'll try to link it to it, and uh, he'll make he usually makes it fairly interesting. But really, I you know as I've said many times that you really have to have a lack of Bible prophecy knowledge or just be willfully ignorant to think either one of these are one day going to fit into God's plan. And as I've said many times, this is not Satan's plan. This is not man's plan. This is God's plan. And God's plan is to save many. And for those who do not want to get saved. The Bible says plainly in 2 Thessalonians 2 that because they did not choose to believe, which is the truth, which is Jesus Christ is Lord and the Messiah, God will send, send them their Messiah. And that Messiah will come on the scene somewhere around the middle part of the tribulation period, and he will become the God of this world. And people will literally bow down to him and worship him. And when, and when Christians don't do that, he will then bring about his Mark system thinking that he can starve them into submission. But the Bible says that that will be the wrong move. But everyone who rejected Jesus as Savior will believe this lie and will then one day go on to be judged by the saints and will ultimately be cast in hell or the lake of fire, depending on whatever you, you may very well believe. I mean, some people believe that you go to hell first, then you uh, appear before God, then you're cast in the lake of fire. But I don't see that being the case because they're already being judged by Jesus. When he comes back for his second coming, I believe that at that point they will be sent to the lake of fire. But let's take a look at what the Bible says will take place and will be the gateway that will start the tribulation period. Of course, we've talked about the four different main signs that will take place just before the tribulation period gets underway. And one of them being, of course, pestilence, earthquakes, wars and rumors of wars. And famines, and of course, famines are being discussed world, worldwide by experts that we're about ready to experience a famine that the world hasn't seen for many, many years. And the Bible says it's going to get a lot worse. And that goes for earthquakes, that goes for wars and rumors of wars, and that goes for pestilence. And I'll do a little commercial for my Gitter account. If you've been following me on my Gitter account, you get all of this information ahead of time and on a daily basis. So I would challenge you to get the uh, Gitter app and then look up Calvary Prophecy Report or Terry Malone. I think you'll probably find me if you, if you look, you search either one. And then begin to follow me. And of course, if you have not uh, received one of my books, uh, my Tribulation Spirit Survival Guide, I have other books as well, but the Tribulation Spirit Survival Guide, I would get that purchased or that free download as quickly as possible. Go down to the description section of this video and uh, click on the link and get whatever copy you choose to get. And if the Lord has laid it on your heart to support this ministry, do so by going down again to the description section. Go to my PayPal account and select whatever it is that you want to donate. But let's get into the article that I'm talking about. Uh, if, you, if you follow my Bible prophecy website, you know that I believe that the gateway to the tribulation period is a seven-year peace accord that would take place with many and Israel. Well, that, my friend, I believe is going on right now. And here's an article coming out of the Wall Street Journal that states that the U.S. held secret meeting with Israel or Israeli 
Arab military chiefs to counter Iran air threat. And somebody says that meeting in Sharm El Sheikh included military officials from Israel, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Jordan, Egypt, the UAE, and Bahrain. I believe that as this threat grows, that there will be more Israel, or sorry, more of the Arab world and probably the uh, European Union will join in and I believe that you're looking at a poss- the possibility of a peace with many. Now I can't say for sure that this is what this would be but it seems to make sense. And it's probably going to fall on the heels of, of the Abraham Accords. But you know I frankly don't care what they entitle it or what uh, it's connected to. The Bible says that there will be a seven year peace accord that will be strengthened, at least it's believed it will be strengthened. So they, a lot of people believe that it's al- it, al- it already will have existed, but only strengthened. And it will be between Israel and many. Well, as I've reported already, uh, Joe Biden, President Joe Biden, is heading to Europe. Then he's going to go into the Middle East, where it is believed that uh, he will try to talk the Arab world into selling him cheap oil. But I think, think that it's as much as uh, a part of this particular secret meeting as well. And I do not have a membership to the Wall Street Journal, but I can read a little bit of the uh, front part of the article. It says the U.S. convened a secret meeting of top military officials from Israel and Arab countries in March to explore how they could coordinate against Iran's growing missile and drone capabilities, according to officials uh, from the U.S. and the region. But here's something else that's very interesting because I believe of these meetings and the war chest that is being created and will probably get bigger against Iran that I think now it's not now they're saying here's an article coming out of Jerusalem Post says that Iran nuclear talks with uh, US to resume soon says the Tehran and EU that's what they're saying in fact if you read the article it's indicating that it could happen at any uh, any moment a couple they're only days away from this thing resuming So take a look and be on guard and be watchful to see if Iran all of a sudden jumps back into talks with um, the U.S., the European Union, and others to try to get this thing back on track. And, you know, like I said, I I believe at some point in time that this peace with many will also include Iran. I think it's all going to come together. And at the very least, that uh, it would be an agreement between the United States, Israel, the modern Arab world, the European Union, and maybe even the Palestinian Authority. But I think that ultimately that this peace deal with Iran will at least on paper be a a good deal for the international community that may lead to a peace with many that will include Iran. We'll have to wait and see how that turns out. But as many of you know that uh, it's not going to end well for Iran, as described in Ezekiel 38, where it is believed that they would come with Russia and Turkey and a few other Islamic nations and encamp upon Israel's northern border. But the Bible says that God would destroy them. Well, here's an article coming out of the Jerusalem Post. This is kind of an ironic article, and it's entitled The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse Opinion. And the headline says that we are nearing the death of the old geopolitical system and of the world order that has kept repeating itself from the middle e- medieval ages. Well, if in fact he does turn out to be the leader of this vast army that will attack Israel is still yet to be seen. But it still doesn't take away the fact that one day that Russia will lead this army down upon Israel. But God uh, states in his word in uh, the latter part of Ezekiel 38 that a miraculous event would take place and this army would be practically destroyed. This is what I would leave you with, that keep an eye on whether or not Iran actually does come back to the table. And then keep a further eye upon what takes place not only in Europe, but especially what happens in the Middle East, which will take place sometime in mid-July. You know, I was talking to somebody the other day, and I said to to them, I believe exactly what I teach. You know, if this was just a podcast that surrounded itself with a bunch of conspiracy theories... I would have dropped it a long time ago, but it's based upon the Bible. And in saying that, I only um, deal with things that are in the Bible. That's why I I, uh, spend so much time talking about the signs that lead up to the tribulation period. And of course, the rapture will take place for that. And the gateway to the tribulation period, which will be a peace with many. So I'd keep my eyes on those two factors. And certainly, if you don't know the Lord, that's something I would take care of right away. 
Ask him to save you, repent of your sins, and believe that he died for your sins. And from this day forward, live for him. And don't forget to subscribe for more critical information as it comes. Get on my Gitter account. Leave a message in the comment section. And if there is a notification bell, hit it and we'll try to get it to you as, uh, as we can. Frankly, if you want to be notified when a, an article or a video comes out, get on my Gitter account because I always send out a message from there. Well, this is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.